Hey, Sully, how are you today? What's happening, man? You staying warm? It's uh, My phone says it's six degrees out, so... <laughs> I'm staying warm. I got a little bit of a cold now, but, uh, you know, first cold of the new of the new year, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll be okay. We'll take a... We'll take some... Some uh, something I don't know what, but uh, we'll take something <laughs> and be okay. Hey man, when you're when you're starting varsity, you don't take days off. No, you know you, <laughs> you fight through. It's, you it's you don't, don't want to lose your every... spot. <laughs> no, no, we'll be fine. No problems. So some interesting developments over the break for yourself, huh? Yeah, you know we started this new gig uh, uh, earlier this week. We're in our first week with uh, NJ Advanced Media, so. We're pretty excited about this opportunity. You know, uh, I always kind of thought that uh, South Jersey needed um, maybe a little bit more representation in, in the South, uh, obviously from a statewide perspective. And uh, this opportunity came up, and I'm going to take full advantage of it. And uh, so far, so good. You know, a lot to learn still, but uh, we're pretty excited about what's going to, what, you know, what, what the potential for this could be. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. They're obviously going to benefit from uh, your knowledge and experience in, on the South Jersey scene. It's great to see that uh, they're, they're making a little better effort here in South Jersey. Yeah, you know, I appreciate it. I've been, uh, you know, I've, I've heard that from quite, from quite a few people. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, was a long, it was a long eight months, even though we had the website for a little while as well. But, uh, you know, this is a, a full-time opportunity to, to really get back into things and do the kind of things that I, I enjoy doing and, and do some different things that, uh, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't had a, a real good chance to experience yet, but, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to get out, get, get, get back out there and, and get back out and, and see some people and see some kids, you know, games and kids and, and really, uh, really drive, uh, you know, South Jersey high school sports at a statewide level. Kevin, uh, what'd you learn about yourself as a writer? You know, taking on the, the challenge of uh, SJVarsity dot com. That's not something that that most sports writers ever get a chance to do. Is to really be their own boss and kind of make their own creative decisions. Uh, how, how did you like that? And and how did you handle that? It's obviously a, a kind of a one eighty from from what you were doing for most of your career. Yeah, you know, it was uh, you know the first time where I kind of had to lean completely on myself. Um, you know, I think uh, in hindsight, uh, there was probably some things I would do, would have done differently. But um, you know, from the of the writing perspective uh, of the site, that was that was uh, it was all that I, I maybe I tried to do a little bit more than than uh, than I was capable of doing. Just one person trying to really do uh, multiple jobs and trying to spread myself to to all different types of of sports and levels, but. Um, you know, on the whole, I think it. Uh, you know, from the writing side of things, it worked out pretty well. And, you know, I was able to to stay with stay with things, uh, especially football, and and uh, you know, get some stories out there. And and the response that way was pretty good. Um, from a business side, um, you know, I learned a few I learned a few different things that you know I hadn't uh, hadn't known before because I hadn't uh, experienced it before. But uh, on the whole, it was a it was a good experience. I learned a lot from it. And, um, you know, now I'm, I'm just uh, looking forward to the opportunity to, uh, to grow and, and to, uh, to continue to get better as a writer and a, and a reporter with uh, NJ Advanced uh, Media. Uh, I think, Kevin, one of, the, one of the cool things I've learned in the last couple of years uh, of being my own boss and doing my own thing was uh, I was actually cleaning out our, our office the other day and going through some of the old issues and came across the, the first ever edition of, of Glory Days, and I was like, man... It looks so amateurish. Some of the, some of the, even just some of the, the you know, the decisions on uh, the layout and the fonts and all that stuff. And you know, it was cool to, to get that issue out there and get started with everything. But looking back on it now, four years later, I'm like, you know, there, there's so much you learn as you're doing it every day, and it's it's just it's definitely a great experience. I think it, it'll probably help you in the long run in your career. You know, now that you're back uh, with a big big time organization, it, it's cool to have that experience of. Um, you know, leaning on yourself and looking at all the different things that go into a publication rather than just turning your story. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, I go back probably 25 years or so ago to an editor that I had uh, when I was working at the Gloucester County Times, you know, at that time. And, and his philosophy then was, you know, try something. Don't be afraid to try something new. And what's the worst thing that can happen if it just doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, you don't do it again, and you kind of move on. So, uh, not uh, I, not that I took that 
approach completely with the website, but you know, if you look at the analogy, yeah, it was something new. I tried it out. Um, you know, I won't say it didn't work, but you know, I was able to learn a few things, and you know, hopefully, uh, like you said, that kind of experience carries over as we as we move forward. Yeah, it's, de- it's definitely great advice, and I've learned that you know uh, throughout my years with Glory Days, the last four years or so, and kind of, kind of the same. Uh, advice I got from my older brother Paul was, uh, you know, when when I decided to do Glory Days, he's like, "Dude, just try it, man. You know, you know what you like, you know what you like doing, and if it doesn't work, you go do something else." So, um, you know, and we've we've taken that approach to a lot of different things that we've done over the last couple of years. So you make make a great great point with that. Give it a shot. If people don't respond, if they don't like what you're doing, just you know, do something else. You know, uh, <laughs> kind of uh, take take it as as it comes and. You know, eventually enough things are going to work if you're if you're putting the time in and putting the effort in. Exactly. So, uh, you know, like I said, with this with this new with this new venture with with NJ Media, uh, Advanced Media, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing things. Uh, we're gonna be doing things and trying things out, and you know, uh, we'll see what works and what doesn't, and then you know, we'll. I'm, I'm always looking for feedback from from readers out there and from from the fans and all as, as to what they'd like to see and what they'd like to you know to read and. We take that and we, you know, mull it over and then we try things out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, that's fine. And uh, and we move on. But like I said, you know, this is the first week. Uh, real excited about the opportunity there. It's a, it's a really good team. It's a great group of people. Um, brought in uh, a, not just myself, but brought in a few other people um, that will uh, just add to, the, to what they're doing up there and really make it a, a powerful source of information. And you'll be working with uh, one of my old mentors, Joe Zadalis, Joe Z. Yeah, I saw Joe <laughs> Z the other day. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll, he's on the wrestling beat, so I probably won't see him a whole lot. But uh, you know, he's one of the good guys up there. And uh, Mike Kinney is now involved uh, is, as well. And uh, you know, another guy who brings a tremendous amount of talent and wealth of experience, you know, to the organization. So uh, you know, the basketball team, <clears throat> as far as myself, uh, Mike. And uh, Rich uh, Ge- uh, Greco will, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna bust our butt and we're gonna do what we can to to bring boys basketball uh, to the forefront, you know, statewide. So people out there should, uh, you know, make you know, give a look on a daily basis because there's there's always something new going on. I tell you what, man, they they got some great photographers too. When, you, when you're talking about people just in South Jersey that I that I'm familiar with, uh, Lori Nichols and Tim Hawk and some of those other folks and. They, they really do a nice job with the high school sports. I know it's a, a difficult job on a statewide level to really cobble all this stuff together. You know, if you you look at it from that perspective, you know, this is this is an operation that is, is a statewide thing. And, you know, there's there's over 450 high schools in, in, in the state. I think it's, it's probably closer to 500. And you're asking, you know, a couple of people to handle the whole entire thing. Um, so everybody really... Is zeroed in on on what their job is and what their focus is, and I think uh, you know uh, as we move forward in this, uh, people are going to really enjoy what what's out there and and the the experience and knowledge that we bring, and uh, you know uh, an opportunity for them, you know, just to to get a, a grasp on what's going on throughout the state, and uh, you know, hopefully people continue to follow us and follow me in South Jersey, and uh, you know that's what I want to do. I want to bring. You know, I want to almost kind of kind of be the voice for South Jersey on a statewide basis. So, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm taking small steps to start here because I, I really have a lot to learn. I haven't had to, to learn a new computer system, haven't had to learn <laughs> a, a new way of doing things for quite a long time. So, uh, but I got a pretty good handle on things in the first week. We're gonna we're gonna get out there, uh, you know, today. We're gonna go down. We'll check out some some things at the at the Seagull and. Uh, and uh, take it from there. So, uh, the, 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 what we, what I will be doing on a daily basis will obviously uh, increase, you know, for the readers out there, the people to, to look at and click on and, and check out. So, uh, you know, uh, just need a little bit, little bit of time to kind of get into a rhythm of things. And, but uh, once we get into that rhythm of things, you know, I think people will really enjoy what we do on a daily basis. It, it's funny you mention that, Kevin, because I worked at the Press of Atlantic City for three years. And if if you took me in that office right now, I wouldn't even know how to sign into the computer. <laughs> it's it's funny how quickly you forget the systems that you work on for years. Well, this is a this is a completely different system that I I had ever worked with before, and uh, 
you know, a couple of days of training and, and taking some, some good notes has really kind of helped out. So, uh, like I said, I mean, I'm not, I'm not completely up to speed and there'll be a, probably a few things here or there that, that I, uh, I miss along the way, but, uh, the guys I'm working with and then the guys in charge are, are extremely helpful. And, uh, everybody up there, you know, is, it's very much a, a team, a team deal. I know I, you know, I hadn't had a, a staff meeting other than for myself in <laughs> eight months. And, uh, you know, when these guys got together and it's a, it's a real nice collection of really a collection of, of, uh, some, some experienced guys who have been around the, the, the state scene for a while. And, uh, some other guys who are kind of relatively new and some that have been around for four or five years and, and really are starting to establish themselves. So it's a real nice operation. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't be more happy about the opportunity that, uh, you know, presented itself. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to everything it's, it, it, it uh, encompasses. We're talking with uh, Kevin Minnick, who's starting a new gig with NJ Advanced Media. And Kevin, give our listeners out there, uh, a little bit of insight as to what you're going to be responsible for. Do you have a certain beat, or you know, how does that work with w- what you're going to be doing now? Well, to to start out right now, I am I am the boys basketball reporter for for the southern part of the state for South Jersey. Oh, okay, the, so, the whole so anything you know south of so, 195 or something, or so basically, if you're looking at the I'm looking at the Cal, Tri County, Olympic, Burlington. And I'm missing one, Colonial. Okay. I'm responsible for those those conferences um, on a weekly, ba- you know, on daily basis. It, it's a collective effort, you know, with, because because it is a statewide effort for the most part, with uh, with lists, with uh, daily information as far as scheduling is concerned, uh, schedules, scores. Um, you know, you have your your weekly top tw- statewide top twenty lists of of conference leaders and all types of things along those lines. People should check that out, you know, every day. And I'll be responsible for handling what comes out of out of those conferences for South Jersey. And like I said, it's a collaborative effort. But I think um, you know, you you look at these things and don't and don't think that South Jersey is being left out. It'll be it's included with with the statewide stuff. You kind of get maybe you get a little bit more of a perspective of what's going on throughout the state. But at the same time, I'll also be doing. I also go out and, and do South Jersey things. Uh, you know, I'll be out there covering games. I'll be out there, you know, an occasional feature here and there on South Jersey guys. And you know, I may not, I may not necessarily have uh, my byline on the copy every day, but in most cases, I will have some kind of impact on what goes on every day statewide with with what we do. And uh, you know, it's a it's a pretty big uh, it's a pretty big undertaking and then and, and it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work and uh, I'll tell you to be quite honest with you the first day of work uh, they put a lot on me I was and I welcomed it but I left with a little bit of a headache so <laughs> I'm I but but day 2 was a was a complete day 2 it was was I had no headache after day 2 felt completely comfortable uh with with what I had what I had picked up you know as far as the training was concerned that day and I'm and I'm set to you know really kind of set to go. So I was actually uh, just going to ask you that, Kevin. That you know your your first day, did you go home and think how the, how in the world am I going to cover five conferences? You know, um, no. From that perspective, I, I'm, I'm not because you know essentially I I did that before. Um, you know, you keep your eye on everything and you try to touch on on a little bit of something from every every league, every conference when you can. That's why things like um, like a hot takes, like a notebook type of thing on a, on a Friday morning might include six or eight, ten different things from South Jersey where you can hit a couple different areas that, that you didn't hit in, you know, in the week before. And, right. and leaders along those lines. And, you know, uh, everybody likes to know, you know, everybody likes numbers. And, you know, there'll be stat leaders and, and, and conference rankings every week. And, Things along those lines that uh, you know will be my responsibility. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It's not something that, that scares me at all. Uh, I've done it before, and I think uh, one of the biggest factors in why I'm working for these people is because of my experience and my knowledge of South Jersey. And I think uh, you know we've talked about this before about you know South guys in South Jersey. The writers are passionate and. Uh, extremely interested in what they do and 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 this is just on and it's not a 
It just doesn't happen by accident. You know, this is what we love to do. This is what we enjoy. Yes, it's our job, but it's also a passion. So I'm bringing that passion uh, just to a different organization at this point. And, uh, you know, my plan is not to do anything anything less than, than what I've tried to do in the past and, and hopefully even more. So, like I said, just need a little bit of time to get, get into a rhythm and get into a flow of things. But uh, I think people will, like I said before, I think people will enjoy, uh, you know, what we're doing. Good stuff, as always, Kevin. Uh, congrats on the new gig. We're looking forward to uh, plenty of information coming from you. And take some Robitussin, man. Get rid of that cold. You, you're going to need to be uh, back and at him uh, in, in just a couple hours here. So <laughs> yeah, get, get some rest when you can, man. We're, it's not going to be very long before uh, we're out the door. So, uh, like I said, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for the opportunity to talk a little bit about it, Sully, this morning. I really appreciate that. Always, man. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. We'll see you down the line. Thanks again. Yep. Thanks, man. That was uh, Kevin Minnick, formerly of SJVarsity.com. He's starting a new gig this week with NJ Advanced Media. So uh, check him out, NJ.com. has all that uh, information, good stuff that's going to be coming from him. 